You gotta admit, bro, when you're in college, it's perfectly acceptable to eat packs of ramen from the grocery store. You boil some water, toss in the noodles, rip open a packet of seasoning, and got yourself a complete meal. No shame, but I'm a grown ass man. And since I'm living in New York, it's time to step my ramen game up. What's good, bro? I'm Louis Gusto, and today I'm taking y'all around the Big Apple to eat eight bowls of ramen. We're gonna find out which one's the best, or at least which one makes me feel like I'm taking a midnight stroll through the Ginza district of Tokyo. So finesse that like button and let's get ready to slurp some noodles. Yo, our New York ramen adventure begins on the Lower East Side at Nakamura. This was started by Chef Nakamura, considered by many to be one of the four ramen gods. Like the Fantastic Four, but for bowls of ramen. And he made his US debut at Ramen Lab before opening up his own shop just off the Williamsburg Bridge. So you can bike, scoot, or walk across that bridge from Brooklyn, get yourself a nice hot steamy bowl of ramen. We ordered two of their signature ramen bowls today, including one that's brand new on their menu. And these custom New York City themed bowls with the Nakamura branding. I'm gonna try some of this broth first. This is the Ton Toru Ramen Bowl. It's creamy pork broth, and let me tell you that ramen broth is so thick, it's delicious. One of the best broths I've had in my life, and I'm a big ramen head. This is the first time we're filming a ramen tour on the Platinum Channel, and I'm so hyped. There's also obviously some chashu pork, some chewy noodles, some menma, and some spinach in there. A simple bowl of ramen. I don't need a hundred ingredients in my ramen bowl to enjoy it, you know what I'm saying? I like my ramen like I like my... <laughs> All right, get some of these chewy noodles in here. This is the hardest part. Thick piece of pork. Mm. Oh yeah! Wow. That pork's got a nice smoky flavor to it, and got the grill marks on there. Amazing flavor. I'm really picky when it comes to my chashu and my ramen because a lot of places they don't do it quite right. The flavors here they they mesh so well together. This broth is phenomenal, yo. A little windy outside, it's kind of overcast. It's a perfect bowl of ramen for today. I don't know if I've ever had spinach in my ramen before. Wow, this is, you gotta try this. This is, <laughs> you're gonna love this ramen, it's so good. I'm actually kind of sad there's only one piece of pork in here because it's so good. <laughs> Got some bamboo shoots as well. I also see a little bit of scallion in there. Quite apparent why Chef Nakamura is considered one of the ramen gods. This is a godly bowl of ramen. What a way to start the ramen tour. Oh yeah. That is so comforting, delicious. Reminds me of Tokyo. We got the torigara, which is their chicken broth. That comes with grilled chicken, thin noodles, some menma, bamboo shoot kind of condiment. There's also some spinach in there and scallions, of course. You gotta have the scallions. You gotta mix it all up. They laid the ramen noodles in here, kind of like a folded blanket. My bowl of ramen has very thin noodles. Look at those. Oh yeah. It's beautiful. Time to try it. I like those noodles. They actually kind of like soak up the ramen broth a little bit. Okay. Flavorful. The Torigara ramen also has Naruto, the little fish cakes. Mm. Oh yeah. Get some of these noodles. Mm. Little bit of grilled chicken. Mm. I thought I loved that pork ramen, but the chicken one is definitely making a run for the money. It's chicken-based, but it's done right. Typically, a chicken-based ramen 
is too weak. When you talk about noodle perfection, they hit it here. Five star noodles, both bowls are impeccable. Yo, I knew this ramen was gonna be good, but it still exceeded my expectations. It's a small spot, they're playing some like 2000s pop music. You order on your phone, they bring it out. There's a little bit of chili oil on the side, but honestly, I don't even think this ramen needs chili oil. We're sitting here by the window and can see the Williamsburg Bridge outside. Talk about amazing ramen. This is it right here. Two incredible bowls of ramen at Nakamura here on the Lower East Side. It's definitely the right way to kick off any ramen adventure here in New York City. I definitely enjoy the tontoro, which is the pork-based ramen, a little bit more, but don't sleep on that chicken one, the torigara. And they also do a breakfast ramen with a buttermilk pancake and sausage and bacon bits and poached egg. So uh, breakfast ramen is on the menu next time, most definitely. <laughs> The next stop on our ramen adventure in New York City is also on the Lower East Side. This is Okiboru, the house of ramen. Fries with some garlic aioli, chashu, some pickles, and uh, some kind of sauce on there. The bow is cold. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. It's a fluffy bun, great pork, good pickles. Mm -hmm. It's fried shrimp and a little sauce. Mm. That's great. We got the tontori, which is a chicken and pork broth with thin noodles, scallions in there, and a half boiled egg. We also got the famous sukumen dipping ramen, fish and chicken broth with cold, thick noodles, nori, naruto, and some scallions as well. Both look incredible. Gotta squeeze lime onto the noodles before you start to eat them. And you grab some noodles, you dip them in that broth. That's a chicken and fish broth. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, quite interesting to have the cold noodles with the hot broth. We also got some chashu on the side, or on top of the noodles. Thick noodles here, super cold, long noodles. Over here in the fish and chicken broth, dip them in. Chashu. Mm. Tontori. Thin noodles in here, half boiled egg, scallions, and some more chashu. Mm. Mm. Super creamy broth. It's a blend of pork and chicken, which I don't often go for, but I really like this one. Two bowls of ramen. Both have very super thick and rich, hearty broths. This cold dipping ramen, sukumen, is a fish and chicken based broth. It's so thick like a gravy. It comes with these thick, cold noodles, a lot of scallions, and some chashu. You could choose chicken if you want as well. Then we got the more traditional tontori bowl. This is a pork and chicken broth. My personal favorite of the two. This one has a thin noodle though, instead of the thick like over here. With these thick noodles, you gotta squeeze a little bit of lime on top. Then you dip the noodles in. So the cold noodle with the hot broth. This one is, like I said, more traditional. So you can spoon it and drink the broth. There's chashu on here too, scallion. And uh, there's a half boiled egg as well. So fellas, you know, extra protein in the bowl. But uh, super hearty ramen, not a light meal by any stretch of the imagination. Remember kids, always slurp your ramen. The slurpier, the better. Mm. Mm. Ooh, and chashu is so good. Little sweet flavor to it. Amazing. Great ramen here. You know, just chilling, doing what we do, enjoying amazing Japanese food here in New York City. Mm. Creamy, flavorful, umami. It's very umami. <laughs> mm. 
gonna be tough to pick a favorite after this one. Okiboru, house of the ramen. We started with some appetizers today, fried shrimp, french fries, some chashu bao, but of course the stars of the show were the two hearty bowls of ramen. It's a smaller space, there's some countertop, that's where we sat, right in front of the kitchen. You don't really get to see them cooking or preparing anything, but there's no separation between you except some bowls. Today we got the traditional sukumen, which is a dipping ramen and a tontori bowl of ramen. Both were excellent. This is chill because you can go in, place your order on your phone. It's perfect for the person with social anxiety. The next stop on our ramen adventure through New York City is in Midtown East at Teppan. We're here for a couple of bowls of ramen, but we started off with a gyudon rice bowl that has some seasoned beef, red ginger on a bed of rice. At Teppan, they have about eight ramen bowls to choose from, so it was a little difficult, but I went with the recommended spicy Teppan ramen. This has so many ingredients. First of all, you got a pork and chicken based broth, wavy noodles, chashu, there's bamboo shoots, chives, bean sprouts, miso, and ground pork, among some other things like a soft boiled egg. They said it was like a medium, mid-level spicy, so I wasn't afraid to go like I was gonna burn my tongue or not be able to talk to the camera. Nerissa got the miso ramen and that'll be up next. But first I want to try this spicy ramen. Let's go with the broth first. This is a pork and chicken based broth. like foghorn, leghorn, and porky pig combined to make an amazing soup. They're right, it's really not that spicy. It's enough to give it flavor, but not so much where my tongue is burning or give me the hiccups. Like when I had that extra spicy salsa, Daqueria Ramirez, I immediately got hiccups. That's how spicy it was. I wanna try a little bit more of that broth. It's really, really good. I didn't add anything to it like pepper. I might order extra noodles depending on how many I eat. Mixed up the whole bowl, the ground porks in there, the bean sprouts, the chives. Ooh, maybe that spicy did hit me a little bit. <clears throat> Let's get some noodles. It's very polite to slurp your noodles at a ramen house. Otherwise, they don't think you're enjoying it. Let's get a more. Let's get a more. In addition to the noodles, the ground pork, the miso, there's also red pepper in here and sesame. All right, where is my ground pork? I wanna try some of that. Oh, first I'll try some of this chashu. Here we go, with a little noodle. Mm. Pretty good chashu, it's not my favorite. All right, I'm gonna get some of those noodles. That's my favorite part of this so far. I think I mixed in a good amount of the ground pork into them. That's a good bowl of ramen. I like the spiciness in this ramen. It brings out the flavor. The noodles go perfectly. And it's a lot of ingredients in it, more than any other bowl that we've had so far. But I like that. The red pepper, the sesame, the chives, the bean sprouts, the bamboo shoots, soft boiled egg, miso, ground pork, wavy noodles, and of course that pork and chicken based broth. I believe this one is gonna be our first miso ramen. This ramen's called the Teppan Miso. It's got corn and sesame seeds and chives. <laughs> I got wavy thick noodles this time. This chashu is sliced thinly, less flavorful, and there's not really like a char. I love the ones that they kind of blow torch and then put it in the bowl. Decent, solid. Time to try the broth. It's lighter than a tonkatsu broth. This is Teppan's miso ramen. Let's go. can definitely taste that miso in there. Not a super heavy, but also not a super light broth. Right there, square in the middle. I think it's because of the, it's a combination of pork and chicken. So I like that. The first two bowls that I ordered were pork-based broths. Then we had that dipping one with the fish and chicken combination. This pork and chicken combo, pretty good. Good chewy noodles, holding on to that broth. 
and a great bowl of ingredients, including the corn in this one. I like both of these bowls, but I'm really glad I ordered the tepid spicy. It's so flavorful with all those ingredients, the bamboo shoots, the chives, the ground pork that mostly sunk to the bottom. So it's like a reward at the end of the bowl. The noodles are nice and chewy. I'm really picky when it comes to my ramen noodles. So thankfully these are really excellent. The chashu pork, although not my favorite, the ground pork definitely makes up for it. And the broth is really good. I needed to taste the miso broth, then come back to my spicy broth to truly appreciate it. Kind of like you don't know what you got till it's gone. And it's mid-level spice, you know, a little bit adventurous, very different from the first two bowls that I ordered. I'm quickly becoming New York's top ramen connoisseur. Maybe one day I'll open a little Louis Gusto pop-up ramen shop. Put it in the comments if you want me to do that. Both bowls had those wavy noodles with a good amount of chew, no aftertaste, going perfectly with those broths. Each one was a pork and chicken combination, which I like. The tonkotsus were great, but sometimes they can be a little bit heavy, kind of sit in there, set up shop, little like summer camp and your stomach going on. But with the pork and chicken combination, it's a little bit lighter, but not super light, where it's not really feeling like ramen anymore. I felt like my tepid spicy was a little bit non-traditional. I could be wrong. I haven't been to Japan yet, but if y'all get this video to like a million likes, I'm sure it'll be very easy for me to get over to Japan and do a ramen tour over there. The service was great. We also got the gyudon rice bowl with some red ginger and some beef to start off our night. They did have a mocha and hazelnut cake, which looked really good, but I'm a little bit too stuffed from eating a bowl and a half of ramen. So maybe next time we'll get that cake. So far, we've eaten six bowls of ramen in New York City. We got more ramen on the way, but first, if you're enjoying this video and wanna see more just like it, make sure you hit that little button to become a platinum subscriber. And now for something completely different. We're in Williamsburg, Brooklyn to try Yuji Ramen for the first time. It's so hard to get reservations, but you know I had to come through for my boys. They're known here at Yuji Ramen for their seafood-based ramen talking tuna, shrimp, and other seafood like that. So let's go inside. Got the tuna kotsu ramen bowl. Tonkotsu style broth, but made with tuna instead. There's scallion, broccoli, tuna chashu. I'm gonna grab some noodles now. Mmm, very hot, but good noodle. Great chew on those noodles, too. Really filling this broth. Mm. It's tuna shashu. Mm. Wow. That's amazing. Mm. The broth is super creamy. I can't believe this is made with tuna. It definitely tastes like a traditional tonkotsu broth. It's really incredible. Yuji Ramen in Williamsburg, Brooklyn is all about that surf with a little splash of turf. Out of all the ramen restaurants that we've been to for this New York food tour, Yuji Ramen is definitely the most unique. They don't really do a whole lot of pork here. It's all about that seafood fish flavors. I ordered the tuna kotsu bowl of ramen, which I was really looking forward to. Essentially, it's a tonkotsu style broth, but instead of using pork bones, they're using tuna bones, I'm assuming. Maybe the head too. As special as it is to have a tuna based ramen, it's a very simple bowl. We we also ordered the Okonomi Shoyu Bowl, which was a fish and chicken bone based broth with egg noodles, more scallion, and tuna chashu. The tuna chashu broke up into little slivers in the bowl, so you got to eat it piece by piece. The seafood flavors definitely came through, but that tuna kotsu, I had to keep reminding myself that it wasn't pork, it was actually tuna. The broth was super creamy and rich, not super salty at all. We also ordered a couple of Orion beers and got some cured mackerel sushi. If you're looking for something different when it comes to ramen, you want something that's completely completely out of left field. Come to Yuji Ramen, get you a seafood-based ramen. They're constantly rotating their bowls, so who knows, maybe we'll come back next week and it's a macro-based ramen. One can only hope. <laughs> 
It's a small, very intimate space, about 12 seats total. No bigger than my one bedroom apartment in Brooklyn. It'd be a good spot for a first date, especially if you want to impress somebody. It was so good. My belly is full of that seafood based ramen and I would definitely return here. Yo, I hope y'all enjoyed this ramen tour of New York City. Some of the best bowls that you can get with some incredible noodles. Don't hate, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.